Hi, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast with everyone's favorite OBGYN, Dr. Angela Jones. Have you ever been too embarrassed or shy to ask your own doctor about your, you know, girl parts? Well, you've come to the right place to get straight answers. Feel free to ask Dr. Angela anything women's health related. Obstetrics and gynecology? She keeps it real. Pregnancy? She's been there, done that. Menopause? She'll get you through. Young or old, Dr. Angela's got you covered, girl. Now here's Dr. Angela. What's good, people? This is Dr. Angela, everyone's favorite OBGYN. Today was such an amazing day for me for a number of reasons. Number one, I accompanied my mini-me to one of her social events. She and her friends met at this really cute art studio and they decorated gingerbread houses. I am completely floored and amazed by the creativity of children. I mean, what they did with these houses, I would have never thought of half of that stuff. My house, comparatively speaking, would have been kind of mundane, boring, you know, but these houses were fantastic. And then the other thing that we did today was we went to Philadelphia, one of our really good friends, church, put some amazing Christmas concert and it was just, you know, very festive, soulful, soul stirring. And, you know, talk about making a joyful noise unto the Lord and just for the holidays, what have you. It was amazing. It really made me think and reflect on how much I really miss home. And not to get all spiritual on you all or anything, but it's probably one of the aspects of my life that I miss the most. You know, certainly we have not found a church home here in Jersey. I mean, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's got to be the right fit. You know, the choir is great and, you know, children's ministry, all that is really important. But, you know, for me, it's just finding a place that I can get a good word, something that helps me to stay grounded and get through my week. Because I'm telling you, sometimes out here in Jersey, folks will make you need Jesus. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to jump right into today's topic which is something that's like so familiar to me because I feel like all the time I'm talking to residents about gestational diabetes. That's diabetes that's been diagnosed during the pregnancy. And what I feel like happens a lot with gestational diabetes is that once the mom delivers, everyone forgets about it. And it's like, pump your brakes, you can't do that. I mean, I know a lot, a lot, a lot of patients that once they deliver baby, everyone forgets that they ever had it. And that really shouldn't be the case. And it's not just the patient's fault. It's your clinician's fault. Your clinicians are supposed to be testing you for diabetes when you are 6 to 12 weeks postpartum. And the reason for that recommendation is twofold. Number one, it's to make sure that your diabetes has resolved and number two, to make sure that you weren't a pre-existing diabetic and that the diabetes that you developed wasn't just secondary to the hormones of pregnancy because what we typically do is give you like, you know, a fasting glucose test or a two hour oral glucose tolerance test. And if you fail that, then you need to be treated for diabetes immediately. If you don't fail it, however, we still need to keep a very close eye on you because if you had gestational diabetes, you are going to be at an increased risk for diabetes pretty much for the rest of your life. And as a result of that, you should be tested like every three years to make sure that you don't develop the disease. One of the things that most gestational diabetics learn is how to eat right or more healthy during pregnancy. And I try to encourage patients to continue this after the pregnancy because, again, you're going to be at an increased risk for developing diabetes later in life. And lifestyle modifications, i.e. diet and exercise, can have such a profound, huge impact and decrease the likelihood of you developing diabetes later in life. So just for the road, remember, if you are someone that had gestational diabetes 
during your pregnancy at the 6 to 12 week postpartum mark, your OBGYN really should be rescreening you with either a fasting glucose or an oral glucose tolerance test. So again, just FYI. And trust me, I know, as much as we all dislike gestational diabetes or diabetes in pregnancy, and I know that we're all like dying to not have to do those finger sticks and whatever, I completely understand it. We can't just let you off the hook quite so easy. And we just got to make sure that moving forward that either number one, it has resolved. Number two, that you weren't a pre-existing diabetic. And number three, we need to keep an eye out on you because again, you're at an increase, you're at an increased risk for developing this disease, i.e. diabetes later on in life. So I'm hoping that this help somebody. This topic actually just came to me. Again, I was perusing through one of my medical journals and it struck me that a lot of us aren't doing this. So I'm hoping that this is going to impact somebody's health. If you happen to have a question or a topic that you would like featured in the podcast, you know how to reach me, www.askdrangela.com. That's A-S-K-D-R-A-N-G-E-L-A.com. Click on the question mark email me your question, or if you're more of a social media type, you can click on any of my social media icons and direct message me. I will get back to you. We have like so many questions for me to answer. It's like crazy, but I love, love, love hearing from you. And we will, 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 I promise, get to all of them. If we do use your question on the podcast, some of my team, i.e. me, will reach out to you and we'll send you one of our bomb ass t-shirts. In closing, I'd like to leave you with this. Remember, one step at a time. Until next time, look better, feel better, be better. Thank you for listening to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. For more information on women's health and the show notes for this episode, please visit Dr. Angela at www.askdrangela.com. While you're there, Don't forget to leave your own message for Dr. Angela. See you soon. All of the information provided and discussed in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not take the place of consulting a physician. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease or illness and does not and should not replace treatment from a medical professional. Listening to and participating in this podcast does not create a doctor-patient relationship between you and Dr. Angela Jones. If you need medical advice or assistance, you should consult a physician. Listening to and participating in this podcast is subject to the terms and conditions posted at askdrangela.com terms.